back. Good evening and welcome back to the Ring Sport and Spa Centre for the next final of these European Championships. We're about to get underway with the 10 metre air rifle men at the end of day four and another long day of competition as well. Was it day five? Where are we? <laughs> It's been a long week. It's day five. We've got day six t still to come. That's tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I'm glad she found it amusing. Uh, but for now, it'll be the 10 metre air rifle men. My name is Rory McAllister, uh, and I'll be your commentator uh, for this particular final. Uh, world class athletes about to arrive on the field of play here. A great shot of the finals hall here in the centre of Tallinn in Estonia. Speaking of which, the city that we're in, have a look at this and its beauty. Welcome back to the finals hall here in Tallinn in the heart of Estonia as we get underway for this next final, the 10 metre air rifle men. The announcement of the athletes will be in just a couple of seconds. That's the chief range officer saying that the range is ready. And here's Vladislav Lushin, our announcer from Estonia, welcoming in the athletes to the field of play. It's my honor to present you with the best eight athletes of the four who are competing in the ranking match of this finals. So, on fire point A, representing Croatia, Mira Maricic with his coach, Daniel Kosman. So, Miran Maricic of Croatia is the first athlete to come into the on field of play for this final. Representing Germany, 25 year old. So Maximilian Dallinger of Germany, 25 years old now as well. We'll be on firing point B. And firing point C, representing Slovakia, Patrick Jani. Now, also 25 years old. There's a pattern here. Maximilian Ulrich with his coach, Wolfgang Weigel. And on firing point D, representing Germany, Maximilian Ulbrich. Also representing Germany, the second German athlete in this 10 metre final. So here comes the very experienced Sergei Richter. 33 years old now. On firing point F, representing Italy. And Danilo next it's the Italian, Danilo that's Danilo Denis Salazzo. Already a quota place. So it means that the other seven athletes in this final, the quota places are available. And it's just a question of coming first and second to claim those. So now making his way into the final hall is Franciszek Schmichana. 
representing Czech Republic. And hugs already before it's even begun. And finally, representing Austria, Alexander Schmel. The jury member in charge for this finals is Robert Lockridge from the United Kingdom. So is Robert Lockridge of Great Britain. Jury member in charge. And once again, we introduce the very experienced Christian Bayet of France, who will be our chief range officer. Ladies and gentlemen, give us one big round of applause from all the finalists. And Guy Le Gentil, also of France, who's another member of the jury. And chief range officer calls for the athletes to take their positions. And six minutes will be added to the sighting time preparation. First of all, qualification, that's how it finished. Maximilian Ulbricht with 633.4. Some way in front of Sergei Richter, Vizrael in second place, and Patrick Yarni uh, was in third in terms of qualification. Uh, just behind, point two of a difference as well, so very close. That's how they line up for now. And we'll go through the lineup for you in just a second. First of all, wherever you are around the world, thank you very much for joining us for this live coverage of the conclusion of day five here at the European Championships. Uh, the time here in Tallinn is 9.41. So it could be later on in the night, it could be earlier in the day or even the afternoon where you are. If you're joining us on YouTube or on Facebook, feel free to leave some comments of support. Just be kind at all times. That would be great. Following the kindness protocols is what's been happening all week. It's been great. So Miran Maricic of Croatia on firing point A, gold medalist at the ISSF Grand Prix. Uh, also has many more medals to his name. And Damir Bosniak is the coach. And here's Maximilian Dallinger of Germany. Has two golds at the European Championships as a junior and also a silver at the World Cup in Cairo, 50 metre, three positions. Gabi Bullman of Germany is his coach. And here's Patrick Yani, a name I've said plenty of times over the years, mostly as an announcer. He's the current 10 meter European champion. And Zoltan Balaz of Slovakia is the coach. So moving on, the second Maximilian and the second German in this. This time it's Maximilian Ulbrich, a silver medalist at the ISSF Junior World Cup in Seoul, 2018. And Wolfram Weibel is the coach. It's a great name, isn't it, Wolfram? And here's Sergei Richter who is now 33 years old, very, very experienced indeed. A gold at the European Games in 2019. He's also the 2013 European champion and also a gold medalist in the mixed team in 2022. So here's Dani Danilo Denis Salazzo of Italy, silver medalist at the World Championships in Cairo. And I do wonder, is he, is he a fan of the comic of the Hulk? I do wonder with the purple and green. There's Marco De Niccolo, who's the coach. And Salazzo already with the quota place. So he won't be claiming that today. Of course, if he finishes top, then it will go to silver and, and, and bronze. So here's Frantisek Smetana of the Czech Republic, and Lobos Olpelka is his coach. Frantisek with a World Cup gold in Rio last year. That was in the 50 metres three position, and also two gold medals from the European Championships over the years. And finally, Alexander Schmel of Austria, 33 years old, 
European Championship bronze medalist in 2017. That was in the 50 metre 3P. And also a gold medalist at the World Cup in 2013. That was in the 50 metre prone. And Hubert Bichler is the Austrian coach. Had a bit of a laugh and a chat with him before the final today. And he seems very, very relaxed and in good spirits. So the clock ticks down, two and a half minutes to go of the preparation and sighting time. Meanwhile, let's just have a closer look at what we're facing here. Bullseye of 0.5 millimetres. Maximum weight of your rifle mustn't exceed 5.5 kilos. And here's an example of what the rifles look like. They are customizable in certain areas, such as the cheek plate and also uh, just the butt of the rifle at the back. And like that, that's just, just an example, really, of what the rifles pretty much look like. It just all depends sometimes what, what colours you want. I mean, Sergei Richter tends to go for gold and has that today on display. There's Mr. Alexander Ratner, the president of the European Shooting Confederation. So two quota places available for this as the Paris Olympic Games draws nearer, literally by the day and by the second. I don't quite know what the Olympic countdown, countdown clock says, but there always is one, and it starts next summer. Now that lady will be there, that's Ghislaine Bliez, the technical delegate for this competition, and she'll be there in Châteauroux next summer for the Olympic Games in her own country. Just in case you're wondering if our camera's out of focus there, it's not. Uh, Franciszek Smetana is that tall. And here's Meris Marx, who's part of the organising committee, competition organiser from Estonia. Very good at driving, very good at driving in the snow. Mainly that's because <laughs> she's been bringing me here to the venue each and every day. So 30 seconds will be called by the Chief Range Officer in just a second, just to let them know that the sighting time is counting down. There's Robert Fenedak of Slovakia, European Shooting Confederation Technical Committee member, and has been heavily involved in the organisation of this particular competition, the European Championships here in Tallinn, Estonia. Almost can't believe that we're near the end of day five, and we've only got one to go. We've had a fantastic time here in Estonia. We've all been very well looked after and the competition has been world class. So we are now officially underway. Chief Range Officer has called start. So it's now down to the athletes out the front to provide us with some drama and entertainment. Who will get off to a good start? Richter, the man with the golden rifle. He does like to do this chin rub. So 10.5 from Maricic. Salazzo with a 10.1. And a high shot of 10.7 from Patrick Yani. Ten point seven from Richter. from Smetana, just who we're looking at right now. He's on firing point G. Here's Sergei Richter. Last shot was a 10.7. You can see his finger just twitching on the trigger there. 
goes for another, and it's another 10.7, very impressive. from Patrick Yanni. That's the highest you can achieve. Perfect. Uh, 10.7. The Austrians are happy with that from Schmel. I don't know if we've even had a shot in the nines, have we, so far? 10.8 from Smetana. There's a 9.2 from Dallinger of Germany to complete his first ranking match series. So that's five shots done for him and for Malicic. Smetana also with all five shots complete. Salazzo follows up his last shot at 10.3. Here's Victor with his final shot of the series. Last one with a 10.5. This time a 10.7, that's a great finish. <laughs> and now, Ulbich is the last to finish for Germany. So how's it looking? Well, it's ever so narrow. 53.1 from Sergei Victor of Israel. 0.1 in front of Patrick Yani, and another 0.1 difference between Smetana of the Czech Republic in third. And some of those other differences are 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, two athletes on the same, sixth and seventh. So tied for sixth place. That's Malicic and Schmel. They're both tied for sixth on 51.5. And then Dallago of Germany on 51.0. But a 53.1, very impressive total. Great opening shot from Maricic, 10.7. Ten point seven from Smetana. Seven from Schmel. There's some really high shots going in during this final. Very, very impressive. So it's at this stage of the final really where it all starts to sort of take shape when you get sort of halfway into the second ranking match series, which is where we're headed at the moment. And some athletes are already on three shots, such as Malicic. And at the end of this ranking match series, after 10 shots, we'll then go into one final ranking match series, and that will determine eighth and seventh place. So that's also 
on three shots so far, as is Dallinger of Germany. He's got some ground to make up if he's to survive in this final. Still got another series to go, though, after this one. 10.8 from Ulbricht. Very, very impressive indeed. Lovely. Very, very consistent from Richter. Another shot in the high tens, a 10.6. Dominating this final so far. Malicic, meanwhile, has completed his series. Final shot was a 10.1. Just having a closer look now at Patrick Yani. There's just one shot that's dipped into the nine ring. Otherwise, they've all been safely in the 10 zone. It's just that last shot, shot nine. So. Can he pick this up for his final shot of the series? This is the current 10 meter European champion. Yeah. 10.8, what a way to finish. And that just goes to prove when you're the current champion, just trying to stamp your presence on this final and say, I'm here again to try and do it all over again. So Richter still leads, this time a difference of 0.2. And you just see it adjusting there on the scoreboard. So Smetana of the Czech Republic in second and Yani of Slovakia, 0.2 behind. These differences are so close. When you think that Richter on 105.4 and 1.9 behind is Dallinger of Germany. So Willie Grill is also a member of the European Shooting Confederation Presidium. And that's Roseanne Batista Ramos next to him. So this is the final series before we move to eliminations. So chances for Dallinger and Salazzo to survive in this, in this particular final because they're both tied 103.5 until they take their first shots. So that could change things. So Salazzo with a 9.9 .9. and Dallinger with a 10.4. So it's now Salazzo that moves down. There's still a few shots to go. Schmel with another cracking shot, 10.8. And Smetana now on firing point G. Just that one shot, shot nine that was wayward into the nine ring. Otherwise all in the tens. There's been some great shooting from him. And Schmel with another shot in the high tens, 10.6. Richter's also sitting on a 10.6, is about to shoot. And he's hit a 9.9 .9 this time. That's, he's nodding along to that one, but that's one of the lowest that Sergei Richter has shot in this final so far. And he really is a class act though. Dallinger, dodgy shot around shot five, but otherwise looking good and has managed to just creep up the scoreboard. It's only 0.1 behind Malicic now, so Dallinger really fighting for survival in this particular ranking match series and this 10 meter air rifle final at the European Championships. So 
So this is Salazzo, the Italian. 10.3. Now here's Schmel, who's pulled out some really very impressive shots. And it's a 10.4 for the 33 year old in his last shot, and now follows that up with a 10.3. Meanwhile, Yanni with a 10.8 and then a 10.4. And Salazzo, Smetana, and Maricic have all finished their third ranking match series. And Salazzo putting his safety flag back in his rifle because he will be leaving the final. Already has the quota place though for the Paris Olympic Games. So that means now that it's wide open for the remaining seven athletes, first and second, will take the quota places for Paris. So looking at Schmel of Austria, his final shot of the series on 145.8, moves that up to 155.8 and shakes his head, but Schmel has survived by 0.5, but we do have a shoot-off for seventh because we have a tie for sixth. That's Dallinger and Maricic, so Christian Baye, the chief range officer, just calling that the next instructions is just for these two. So 50 seconds will be added to the clock for this single shot. High shot stays in. Simple as that. So will it be Maricic who survives on firing point A? Will it be Dallinger right next to him on firing point B? So Dallinger survives on 10.5. Meanwhile, Maricic with a 9.8. So on firing point A, he'll be leaving this final in seventh place. Salazzo in eighth from Italy and representing Croatia, Miran Maricic leaves this final in seventh place. And there he goes back to his chair. So we're left with six athletes now. And we've got another five shot series coming up. So Richter was leading, now down to third, but he's only 0.1 behind the two at the top because they're tied. So Ulrich and Jani, both on 157.7. Richter 1.1 behind and another difference of 0 0.6, 0 0.2 and 0.5. So still fairly close. But that 1.1 gap is already quite sizable, particularly considering this is rifle shooting. So it could be that Ulbrick and Yarni start to race away from the chasing pack. Who knows? We'll have to see. So this is Alexander Schmel of Austria. fifth at the moment so needs to keep those shots in the high tens I think if he's to stand a chance and that'll do 10.5 that's great just see how wide Richter's stance is there just reminds me a little bit of Henrik Larsson of more Norway he also has a very very wide wide balanced stance. A 
10.6 from Yarni on his last shot. Uh, the current European champion. Uh, 10.1 for his second. So we still have a tie at the top, 168. And which is now adjusted to 178.4. So both Yanni and Ulbrich on the same score. Very, very close. Cheer goes up. That's from the Austrian supporters. 10.7 for Alexander Schmel. So Patrick Yarni at the moment out in front. 189.0, the current European champion for 10 metres. So Will Schmel get another shot in the high tens here. 10.7 on his last one. Oh, it's a little bit wide, but it's a 10.2. Cracking 10.8 shot from Ulbrich a few seconds ago. And every shot over the last nine including that 10th shot has all been in the 10 ring. Dallinger, meanwhile, has finished. We have a tie. Both athletes on 206.6. That's Smitana and Dallinger. So Ulbrix is in, over the line, 110.1. And Schmel finishes on 208.1. So Patrick Yarni. This is to try and take the lead of the competition and has just ever so slightly because he's now up to 210.2, which is 0.1 in front of Albrecht. So leaving us in this final, representing the Czech Republic is Frantisek Smetana. And leaving in fifth place, he was in danger of elimination last time, survived for another series, but representing Germany, Maximilian Dallinger leaves in fifth. So Sergei Richter, who was leading the competition earlier on, is now in fourth place. Schmel of Austria in third. Ulbrich of Germany in second. And the current champion, Yarni, just there in front with 0.1 of a difference. So it's just at the top, but narrow margins do not matter whenever it comes down to medals. If you're in front and you score a higher shot, that's all that counts. So still fairly close. There's a difference of 3.0 between Richter in fourth and Yarni at the top. So Richter does have some work to do if he's to get a medal. 10.6, that's a great shot. And here's Patrick Yarni, current champion. Can he do it again? At the moment, he's just in front because he had a 10.1, as did Ulbrich. 
So it could come down to a competition between these two for the gold medal. But of course, Schmel will want to at least try and gain some ground because he's got a chance there with the other two on a 10.1. So the 10.5 on his last shot. And has a 10.8 with that one. There we are. 10.8 from Ulbrich. Brilliant shot. That's just edged him in front. It's given him a 0.6 difference. Just a bit of a cushion. And is the German going to go all the way to the gold medal? Well, once we get to the gold medal stage, in just a second, all the scores will be wiped and it'll be reset to zero. So you can only just literally try and carry that form on. 10.9. The perfect shot at the perfect time. Meanwhile, Schmel just slams in. It's like a slam dunk, considering we're in a basketball hall. 10.8. This is fantastic. So if you are just joining us, welcome to the European Championships here in Tallinn, Estonia. This is the 10-metre air rifle men's final. Point eight from Schmel, followed up with a 10.3. Patrick Yarni, last shot was a 10.2, and it's a 10.7 this time. We have a real battle on our hands here. And if Ulbricht hits another shot in the high tens, could finish this series on a very high total indeed. Yes, 263.1. And here's the man with the golden rifle and a 10.0 finish. So Richter will be leaving us unless there's an absolute disastrous shot here from Yanni. Nine point six. So he just managed to, well, I say just, but just looked a little bit wobbly there. But Sergei Richter, who led this final for some time, very, very experienced, and now leaves in fourth place. So we have the first medal of this finals. And Alexander Schmel of Austria. The whistles and cheers of the Austrian support. And rightly so, had some cracking shots over that final, which means now that the quota places for the Olympics have been given to Slovakia and Germany. And then we have it confirmed on your screen, the familiar sight of the Olympic logo, the five rings representing the five continents of planet Earth and the unity of the Olympic Games. So we now move into the gold medal match. All the scores get wiped now, and it's a case now of highest shot wins the series, if at any point the shots are the same in terms of their total, they'll be awarded one point each. And we had a great gold medal match between Shona McIntosh of Great Britain and Jeanette Dustad of Norway, a real battle. It's absolutely brilliant, world-class wow. shooting from both of them. And it just came down to those narrow margins that we often see in rifle shooting. So 50 seconds per shot this time. And this is where all the training really does count because it's been a long day, long final. Yes, the suit is there to help with stability, but 
It's just about keeping that rifle as still as possible, controlling your breathing, just working on everything that you've been through up until this point. And this is where you gain the experience and then know how to handle the pressure. So Patrick Yarny with a 10.6 from the current champion. Meanwhile, Ulbrich of Germany, who's been in cracking form during this final, hits a 10.7. So a 0.1 difference, but it means that Ulbrich wins the series two points to nil. I wonder if he's feeling the nerves, he must be. But at the same time, he must be so confident because he's shot so well. And Yarni with a 10.1, and it's another series win for the German. 10.4. So can the German get another series win? Will Yarni, the current champion, fight back? Twenty seconds on the clock. Ten point six from Yarni, and likewise from the German. So, first time we've had a tie, both on ten point six. It means they have a point each. So Yarni at least has some points now in this gold medal match, but Ulbrich is still four points in front. so close from these two right up until this point. It doesn't surprise me that they both ended up in this gold medal match because they both shot so well. 10.4 this time from Patrick Yarni. So two points, two valuable points added to his one. So it's now three points to five. And Ulrich finds himself perhaps just feeling a little bit of pressure now from the current champion. So another 50 seconds on the clock. So can Patrick Yarni repeat what he did in Haymar at the European Championships last year, which was a gold medal in this event? 10.9, just as I say that, he goes and delivers the perfect shot at the perfect time. 10.4 from Ulbrich, so the current champion is showing why he won a year ago in Norway in Haymark. 10.9, wonderful. So another load command is given. Another pellet goes into the rifle. And the crowd really starting to make some noise here. 
the seats are absolutely reverberating and making so much noise with the stamping of feet and the whistling and rattle of all sorts of instruments. Yanni, this is unreal. And a 9.8 from Ulbrich. And is that going to also put a big dent in his confidence? So Yanni's even finding it amusing. Two, point, two 10.9s in a row. And the Germans have called for a timeout. So Maximilian Ulbrich taking from some instructions and literally just taking the timeout. Oh, I think it just gives us all a bit of a break, really. It's been so dramatic, not only the final with the ranking match series, but now into the gold medal match. It just can be exhausting watching, let alone participating in these gold medal matches. And I wonder, is it the resting hand here that the coach is focusing on, just in terms of Aubrey's stance? So that's clearly something that they've been working on together. That is obvious. So 7-5, the current champion is in front. So can Max Ulbrich pull a decent shot out of the bag in order to get a series win? Yeah, shot so well. But when it comes down to the gold medal match and everything's reset, you can only rely on your form. You can't rely on your previous scores. 10.4 from Yanni. 10.2 from Ulbrich, which means Yanni once again is a series winner. It's now nine points to five. The current champion is seven points away from perhaps a second gold medal in two years and another title of Olympic cha uh, European champion, perhaps. So can Ulrich pull this one back? Here he goes. Ten point three from Yanni. What can the German respond with? Ten point three as well, so one point apiece. So Ulbrich still finds himself four points behind, but it's now Yanni ten and Ulbrich six. So Yanni six points away now from another gold medal, perhaps. Ulbrich in the meantime needs another ten. Sixteen points is the total to claim gold. One thing's for sure though, the quota places are safe between these two. One quota place each, which has been awarded for the Paris Olympic Games. from the current European champion and a 10.5 from Ulbrich of Germany. Maximilian Ulbrich gets two points in this round and brings the difference behind Patrick Jana of just two, to just two points. So, so even the stamping up here in the stands is even making things move around on my desk and fall to the floor. Such are the vibrations being created by the crowd here.
I think I'll just clip my watch back onto my wrist. I think we're in safe. Right, back to this final. 10 points to eight. So Ulbrich has pulled it back as a two point difference. And here he is. Zero from the Arnie. It's a chance here now for the German, and he's taken it. A 10.4. And it's all level. Once again, we have another dramatic conclusion to a medal match here in Tallinn, Estonia, at the European Championships. We've had world class shooting all week. We've been absolutely treated and blessed to have seen such great levels of competition such a high standard. So Patrick Yarni, the current champion. Can he do it all over again? and the drums just get louder. 15 seconds left. So 10.4 from Ulbrich and a 10.2 from Yarni. They took a long time there. And time out from Slovakia. And a quick nod of the head as well from Patrick Yarni. The noise also stops for now. So, so 12 points for Ulbrich. So Ulrich is now in front for the first time. The German is on 12. And Yanni, the current champion, is on 10. It just shows you not only how hard it is to win a European title, but also how hard it is to defend it. So the Germans also taking advantage of the timeout called by Slovakia, which they're allowed to do. They're entitled to do so. And they can wait for the entire 60 seconds as well, which they're clearly doing. It's funny, isn't it, how time seems to be so slow whenever there's silence. And from deafening noises and really rocking the decibel meter in the finals hall here. It's just gone silent all over again, but I'm sure within a couple of seconds, the noise will be back. So Ulbrich on 12 points, the current champion Patrick Yarni of Slovakia on 10. Can Ulbrich become the European champion? And there's the back row who are making most of the noise here in Estonia. I'm sure if you're as far as maybe Auckland, New Zealand, you can hear the noise from here. 10.3 for Yarni and a 10.6 for the German. That's an incredible shot at this stage. What a competition we've got here. What a conclusion. What a finale. Does this final have one more series left in it? Will there be more? So we all take a deep breath. Will this be the final shot? Will Patrick Yarni, the current champion, make a comeback? The momentum at the moment is with this guy, Maximilian Ulbrich of Germany. <laughs> 10.8 from Yanni. What a response. 
going to need a 10.9, and it's a 10.6. So Patrick Yarney breathes and goes on to fight for another series. What a conclusion. This is just wonderful. Wherever you are watching this, sat at home perhaps, if you're sitting down nice and comfortable or if you're on your phone or tablet somewhere, wherever you are, you'll be glued. I know I am. Cannot take my eyes off this. Patrick Yarny, the current champion, needs another series win. Ulbricht, on the other hand, one more series win, and he's the European champion. Ten point four, a ten point five. Ulbricht has done it. He is the new European champion and the gold medalist in this ten meter air rifle final. Just for a moment, I thought Patrick Yarny would put it back and defend his European title, but it wasn't to be today. Maximilian Ulbricht is the European champion, the gold medalist, and also has a quota place for Paris 2024. Patrick Yarny, meanwhile, the first to congratulate him. He's the silver medalist, also with a quota place for the Olympics. That'll be confirmed on the screen in just a second. There it is. And it means that yet another dramatic final has come to a close here in the centre of Tallinn in Estonia. Robert Lockridge from the jury just lining up the medalists. And we'll go to... Vladislav Lushin, our announcer, just for the official confirmation. So the bronze medalist representing Austria. They're going crazy, rightly so. What an achievement for Alexander Schmel, the 33-year-old. And the current champion from last year is now a silver medalist, Patrick Yarny, representing Slovakia with a quota place for the Olympic Games. 25 years old is the silver medalist. And what an achievement by the 22-year-old German. Maximilian Ulbricht is the European champion. It's a double prize because the gold medal it will obviously be awarded to him, as is the quota place for Paris 2024. So that's the end of the 10 metre air rifle final for men. We will be following very, very shortly with the medal ceremony for the 10 metre air rifle men. So if you would like to stick around on the live stream, feel free to do so. We'd love to have your company. We'll be back in a few moments' time with the medal ceremony live here on day five from the European Championships in Tallinn, Estonia. See you in a few minutes.